Hi there, welcome to the Cosmic Classroom. Today we'll talk about gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing is a technique that is really cool because it allows you to measure masses of objects regardless of or if you know anything about gravity. It just measures masses directly. So as you can see in this slide, gravitational lensing is the bending of light rays by gravity. If you notice those uh, those images here that looks like ar that look like arcs, this one, also this ones. There are no galaxies that really come in these shapes. These are actually galaxies that have had their shapes distorted by intervening mass between us, the observer, and this galaxy. So this galaxy is actually in the background of this this big massive clusters of galaxies, cluster of galaxies. In this image. Everything that you see is a galaxy. Every little dot there is a galaxy. And remember that a galaxy is the equivalent of our Milky Way. It contains hundreds of billions of stars in each one of those galaxies. Now, wha what is it about this distortion that allows us to measure mass? This is another cluster that has strong effect of gravitational lensing. In this one, you see multiple images of one galaxy that is in the background, one blue galaxy that's in the background. So all the reddish bubbles that you see there are elliptical galaxies that are, that are close to us, and the blue galaxy is in the background, it's further away. So if you look at the sketch here, there is a re here we are on Earth, observing a galaxy that it's behind a cluster of galaxies, behind a very massive um, object which contains all these galaxies. Well, we wouldn't see this galaxy necessarily because the galaxy is right behind this ga the, the other galaxies uh, that, um, in the big cluster, but we do end up seeing it because the light that would otherwise just never reach us and go this way is bent by the mass of the galaxy cluster and reaches us, creating then images. And in some cases, multiple images of the same galaxy, as in this case, multiple images of the same galaxy. So it's very similar to the effect of um, distortion by lenses. And usually lenses are made of glass or made of plastic. In the case of glass or plastic, what's making the images deform, it's the index of refraction. But in the case of clusters of galaxies, it's gravity. But the effect is very similar. So in here I have an ad for the Blue Man Group, and, which is a really cool uh, performance. And if I just get a, a wine glass and I put it on top of it, you see that, all the, that the letters behind get all distorted, right? They change shapes. Well, it's the same thing. See how they are all around the, the center of the glass? The same thing is happening with that picture that I just showed you in the slide. So let me make sure you understood what gravitational lensing does. Take a minute. See if you can guess what this is an image of. Any ideas? What could that be? Look at it some more. Uh, what is it? So these are multiple images that you observe due to the reflection of the headlights of a car. All right. So the reflection due to water on the road, you see multiple headlights. There aren't multiple headlights. It's just that you see those images. Those are not real objects. It's the same thing with the galaxy. When you see multiple images of the galaxy, doesn't mean that there are multiple galaxies. It's one galaxy that has been distorted. Adding this effect with um, some math, we can see that the, the gravitational effect will be stronger, the gravitational lensing will be stronger if there is more mass, will be weaker if there is less mass. So by knowing that, we can actually weigh galaxies and weigh whole clusters of galaxies. And that's why this technique is so important. The cases that I showed you before uh, show the regime of strong gravitational lensing, which is something that you can see with your eye. If you can see with your eye, we say strong gravitational lensing. But even when you can't see with your eye, 
there are small distortions in galaxies out there everywhere but th because um, it's common to have mass intervening, mass between the background galaxy and you. So the light is always slightly distorted. Sometimes your eye can't see, but the computer software can statistically. In that case, we say that that's the regime of weak gravitational lensing. The same thing, one is a stronger signal than the other. Now that you know what gravitational lensing is, I hope you can understand what's the evidence for the existence of dark matter, since gravitational lensing is one important tool in measuring the mass in a cluster of galaxies. So I'll see you next time. Hope it helped.